another video and i know i sound like i'm on coke like why did i have to yell but if you don't yell you won't feel it the fire the fire the fire ah, shakina shakina Woo! yes we're back for another video today's video we're going to talk about my pet peeves i feel like every time i'm always telling you guys i'm going to talk about my pet peeves i'm going to talk about my pet peeves blah 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 but i never get to do so so today i'm actually going to talk about my pet peeves and things that it just came out of nowhere so i'm probably going to forget a lot of pet peeves but i know the most important pet, pet peeves and i'm going to share that with you okay all right if you guys are like staring at my hair like girl sis silver hair on you bitch is you kidding this hair is it's very disappointing i made a whole video about it it's from divas wigs okay i'll still leave the details or whatever um in the description box i'm gonna link you guys to the video and i'm talking about the hair you guys can decide for yourself if you want to buy it but today we're going to talk about my pet peeves in life not even just guys just pet peeves in life in general bruh i thought i just saw my turtle doing press up like my guy was literally like my biggest number one pet peeve in life is being put on red like you can ignore me fine like there's a difference between ignoring and reading my text and choosing to not respond on time <sighs> hmm. I need to breathe for this because this is special to my heart Nothing pisses me off more than if you see my message and you don't respond for whatever reason. Nothing pisses pisses me off more than that. I have cut people off because of that shit. I, like that's if I don't know you. If I know you or whatever, like fine. If I don't know you, I'm getting to know you and we're talking and you leave me on read for my message delivered. I see that you read it. Like I clearly see that you read it. And then you choose not to respond. All right, moving on to the next person. Basically, that is it for me. There's no coming back from that. I am annoying you at that moment. I hate it with all my heart and passion. I, uh, I hate this shit so much, guys. That is my hugest pet, pet peeve in my life. Like, seriously, I hate it. My next pet peeve is keeping malice. Like, I feel like we're all adults. I'm in my 20s right now. And like, I expect a level of maturity. Like like from the humans i interact with except you're under 15 i expect a level of maturity from you for real if you we have problems as as human beings as individuals i feel like if you can't talk to me about it if you'd rather keep malice with me than come out and talk to me about an obvious problem that we both have we can't be friends we can't we just we can't we, we can't flow well together there's already a problem in the equation like because when i hear people say oh she's not talking to me she didn't tell me what happened and she, i'm just like what the fuck are people still doing this at 20 something years old like are you kidding me i hate knowing people that are quick to just keep malice any small thing they want to not talk to you they want to have issues with you like i'm the kind of person that there's nobody that's like irreplaceable in this life like I, Jesus, I can, of course people that you can never believe I've cut off before in my life. So, it's not hard for me to cut you off. If you if you rather keep malice, then it go be. <laughs> Kiss, it go be. <laughs> we will see in the yonder. We will see in the afterlife. Like, my next pet peeve is that, that competition thing that black girls have when you know they see each other like i find it's usually between black girls i don't really get that kind of tension between white girls to be very honest like who feels me like you know when you go into a place and like there's a couple black girls that i like i hate that shit if i'm a melanated queen to another melanated queen i hail you wakanda forever why do you have to now eye me and give me the side eye and black girls i am i speaking the truth am i speaking the truth to somebody right here black girls do that a lot like maybe you we'll go to the african store or i go to like beauty supply and they see you and they're giving you attitude like this is someone that walks there they don't want to like help you out they don't want to do nothing and you're just like sis what the fuck is it because i'm black like we always have this competition of there's no enough space to be the popping black girl like it's so annoying like we don't support each other we don't do none of that and then we come out and we're still competing against ourselves for things that don't even matter like I, I i can't like that's why i stopped hanging around a lot of nigerians and i stopped going to nigerian clubs and stuff like that because you don't go to the clubs to have fun in nigeria like in nigerian parties and nigerian clubs you go there to form you go there to become something you're not you go there to act like something you're not when i go to clubs i want to go and i want to twerk 
I want to twerk. I want to destroy somebody's life. I don't want to go there and be like, mm, mm, mm. that's what half of the girls do there. So when my friends invite me to my junior parties, I'm like, maybe if I feel like just standing up and doing some exercise, I'll go. But if I feel like dancing, you're not going to find me there. Like, so I hate that. That's a pet peeve of mine. Another pet peeve of mine is when people brag about what they have. Like, I hate it so much. I hate it when people brag. Like, I feel like in this life, man, you don't know what any, where anybody's going to be. So why brag? Like, I hate braggarts. Like, seriously, if you're a bragging person, we can't get along. We cannot get along. If you feel the need to always drop names or, oh, I, oh yeah, yeah, just yesterday, yeah. Like, my dad got me this Porsche. Oh, you're talking about that guy, you know, the CEO. Oh, yeah, 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 we're friends, we're friends. If you do things like that, we can't we can't get along because I hate that name dropping, name, you know, just trying to make yourself feel better than other people, trying to put yourself on a higher pedestal. Like, nah, it can't work. It can't work. Like, I find that people like that would never get along. Like, if you feel the need to form and act all oh, blah, 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 we can't get along. Another pet peeve of mine is when people use more toilet paper than they need i'm sure you guys might think this girl is crazy this bitch is crazy i'm not crazy I'm, i know i'm not crazy i'm convinced i'm not crazy you peed why do you need 10 rolls of tissue paper why do you need all of that for pee for pee for pee Another pet peeve of mine that I hate is when people don't wash the dishes. Like, okay, I don't want to sound like really crazy, but by don't wash the dishes, I mean like you have dishes piling up there. Like, I'm the kind of person, you guys watch me, if you watch my Instagram lives when I cook and stuff, as I'm cooking, I'm cleaning. Like, it's a process. The cooking, the, the cleaning is part of the cooking. Like, it's not separated. I don't wait till after next year to cook, to clean. So like, if you eat food and stuff like that, wash your goddamn plates if you don't want to wash plates i have disposable plates use that and throw it over there doesn't mean that if you come to my house i'll be like wash the plate wash the plate no if you come to my house you visit your guest like i'm gonna wash the dishes like just there's a way you do it that you're not being so nasty and dirty all around the place you know what i mean but if you're staying in my in my house and your roommates i hate it when plates stay for a long time i feel like maximum make it overnight maybe you know you ate at night and then the next morning you're washing it or sometime the next day you're washing it but if you're leaving this place and i see the same place two three days later fuck off fuck off fuck your dirty pig's time off another thing i hate another pet peeve of mine is when girls do bling bling on their nails those extra bling bling why why are you running where are you running to a little bit of extra spice here and there you know a little stone here to garnish the nail it's okay but then you have one it has camouflage the other one has pink camouflage the other one has chrome the other one has color changing what where are you running to who is chasing you what what is your nails doing higi haga what what is going on well, hello, hello, babe. What's up? What's up? For, for real, for real. That is nasty. This is how I know it's getting too much. When I do my nails and my nails start to curl, like as per my grasping abilities have been reduced 50%, then it's a bit too much. There's this girl on Instagram, Tokyo Vanity. I fucks with her heavy, but her nails are a no from me, dog. I just wonder how does she, how does she clean her shit? And how, how does she do that? Because it's a straight water thing, fam. No more tissue, fam. Water thing. Another pet peeve of mine is all these body positivity females. Now, I don't want to look like a bitch. I really don't want to look like someone that doesn't care about, you know, like people's feelings or stuff like that. But y'all know I call a spade a goddamn motherfucking spade. If the spade has lipstick on, I will tell the spade it has motherfucking lipstick on. Body positivity is great. But if you know that you have a problem with your health, please do something about it. I'm tired of these fake world people say, yes, plus size and loving it. And then you see the girl, she literally has heart problems. She can't move her body. She has all types of breathing problems. She can't do things. She can't function like a normal human being. Her weight is impeding her life. And then you see people, yes, sister, don't mind the haters. Love yourself the way. Nobody's saying you should love yourself. 
Love yourself if you know you're doing something to better your life. I feel like everybody has a right to a better life. Everybody has a right to live their life without any obstructions. Social media has made it such that we praise any and every stupid thing. Everybody is scared of being called a hater. So we, fuck it, bro. I'm a hater. If it's going to make you a healthier person, fuck it. Hate on me all you want. Like, I feel like body positivity is sense that I'm working towards getting my body to be healthy, to be fit, not necessarily to fit society standards, but to be healthy for me, to elongate my life, so that I have a better life. That kind of thing, I feel like we should, we should, we should support. Yes, you go girl, I see you're doing work, you're putting in work, you have no right to hate on somebody that's working on making themselves better. But if you see a girl sitting down, she's already like 500 pounds obese, she's eating burgers and then you see somebody, yes bitch, yes bitch! You're literally an accessory to a murder. That is what I believe, for real. For real, for real. And I have, I've had a lot of girls come at me like, like, Zara, you're coming for fat people, you're being like a bitch, blah, 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 blah. I'm just like, I've never once insulted anybody and said, oh, you fat fuck, get out of here. I'm just like, if you're gonna sit down there and kill yourself, don't make it look like it's the right thing to do. Kill yourself by yourself. Just don't come out here preaching, oh yeah, oh this. And a lot of fat girls always hate on skinny girls. Always. They're always saying some next level shit. But it's like they're untouchable. When it comes, if you now make fun of a fat girl, it's like, oh, Zara, you made fun of a fat girl. But they're the ones saying, oh, bag of bones, oh, this, oh, that, oh, that. I feel like there's so much double standard in that. But yeah, guys, basically, that's why I, feel. I don't really fuck with the whole like body, body, body positivity thing when they clearly, when it's clearly a health issue. I feel like I have so many people, so I'm gonna actually make a part two of this because this is necessary. Like, for real, if you guys want to see a part two of this pet peeve, let me know in the comment section below. A pet peeve of mine is, is when you tell me, K, oh God, K your life, K your soul, K your motherfucking ass, K your left testicle. Don't, don't ever K me, like, ever. The only person that's allowed to K me is my dad because he doesn't know the right context to use K. So that's the only person. And my aunties and all the older, older, older generation. Those are the only people allowed to use K in the sentence with me and still receive the response. If you K me, motherfucker, K will follow you all the rest of your life. That shit is a huge pet peeve of mine. I hate being K. Like, K, whatever. Whatever is never that bad, TBH. To me, I feel like I do. I say whatever. Like, I don't take it out of context. LOL is okay, but don't love me and just expect me to continue conversation. Like, if you're LOL and that's the end of conversation, LOL. Okay, moving on. Who next to chat? For real, like, why are you lolling me? Like, am I a lollipop? What the fuck? So, K, LOL, out of context, fuck off. Right? Another thing that I hate is being stood up. Oh my god. If you're going to be late, if you're going to be late, please tell me you're going to be late. Please just let me know what's going on. Guys, this when I when I say something's a pet peeve, it's not funny. Like I was in a relationship one time where this guy was always constantly late. He was never on time. To the point where I started feeling like being on time for a date is a good trait to having a guy. I even stopped having expectations for him to come on time. If he says he's gonna come by 8, this guy is coming 11, 12. I understand African time 10, but 12, 1 a.m., no response, no letting me know, no nothing. I can hunt down your children and your generation and just like, that is one of the worst things you can think. Just don't talk to me again. Just keep on going. Just, you know what? Just delete my number. Block me because there's no need. I most likely blocks you. I don't want to get any explanation. I don't want to get anything. Like, don't ever stand me up. That is a huge pet peeve. And I feel like a lot of guys, a lot of millennial guys is their age. They don't give it like they would rather like ignore you and then just ghost you instead of facing the situation and be like, oh my god, oh, oh my god, I'm sorry. I feel like so many millennials have communication issues this day and age. It's such a horrible, annoying thing. Like, oh my god. This is why I date older guys. And people always say, hey, need a... I hardly have these issues with older guys because they understand. Time. They've worked for a long time. They, they understand the essence, the importance of time. Time is a resource that not everybody has to spare and to waste. If I'm waiting for you, if I say this is the time I want us to chat or we should go out this time, best believe you're there at that time. Except Nigerians. Nigerians is a special case. Africans, special case. Very special. See, I've tried coming early 
to an African event. My G, the person that did the event was not even there. The celebrant of the birthday was nowhere to be found. So I'm sorry, but forever, I shall always come two hours late for every Nigerian event. Nobody can tell me anything. If you're Nigerian, I'm never gonna come early to your party. That's just letting you know. <laughs> anyway, guys, this is all the peppings I can remember for now. I'm gonna do a part two of this because I don't want this video to be too long. If you guys want to see a part two, let me know in the comment section below, guys. I have so many pet peeves. Like I want to talk about all the things that annoy me. <laughs> anyway guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for viewing if you like this video give this a thumbs up and if you're not part of the zara family what you what you were for what you what, what, what you were sis hit it hit this as hit this up right there right there hit that subscribe button violate it destroy it castrate it Join the Zara family. Make sure you hit the notification button to be notified of every new video. Join the notification squad, okay? Follow me on all my social media. <laughs> and I will see you in my next video. Au revoir.